Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Straight Up RC. This is Chris. In this video, we're going to be covering Red Cat Racing's Volcano 18 V2 ESC 2-in-1 binding process. Now, this video is a little out of date because the Volcano 18 technically is no longer in production by Red Cat. They discontinued it a little while ago. But I know there's a lot of people that probably still have this truck. I know I do. And the video was a request by somebody off of Facebook. So hopefully it still pertains to some people. So you're probably asking yourself, well, I don't know if I have a V1 or a V2 or if there is a V3, and there is. The Red Cat Racing Volcano 18 has three versions. So a little bit of history for you. The original Volcano 18 that came out probably when they first came out had a three-in-one ESC and this little ESC box right here is an example It's not the same thing, but what that basically stood for is the ESC the servo and the receiver were three in one They all were in the same unit. You had to buy it all together You couldn't replace them separately things of that nature now the v1 v2 and v3 aspect of the two-in-ones came in three different versions and this right here is the original old two-in-one this is like the version one of the two-in-ones the most common esc two-in-one that you're going to see in a volcano 18 is the v2 and there is a v3 and it's not very easy to determine which ones you have except for one of them because they all say esc two-in-one they all say esc rx red cat racing you, you never really know. Not only that, it, what makes it even more difficult is that all three versions have different remotes. And if you end up getting one of the ESCs or transmitters that is a V1, V2, or V3, but you have the opposite or opposing ESC 2-in-1, they don't work together. So it's kind of important to know which one you have. So as mentioned, there's three versions of this two-in-one ESC for these Volcano 18s. And before we get to the binding process of the V2, I wanna help people identify the difference. So the two-in-ones almost all say two-in-one on them, like this one, this is the original version one version of it. And then the version two literally says two-in-one as well. The V3 says the same thing. I don't personally have a V3 to show you, but I'm gonna post up and uh, add some pictures to the video so you'll see the difference. So the, the original ESC two-in-one is basically this kind of black box right here. And it's kind of weird that this is a two-in-one because the servo is right here mounted to the box that this is all encompassed into, but the wire behind the servo goes like into this box and you have to remove this screw right here to even get into the box to unplug the servo. So it's kind of weird. But there is two or three telltale signs that you have a V1 when it comes to the Volcano 18s. And that is this battery plug. This is like a funky off the wall battery plug. I don't recall the name of the actual style of this plug. Um, I'll probably type it in in an overlay just to, to identify exactly what it is. But it's not Mini Tamiya, it's not Dean's, it's not, you know, anything specific. It's very weird. So this is the first indicator that you have the V1. The second indicator is this long gray antenna wire. This is kind of a, a weird, longer, not so, you know, scale size antenna wire that is, you know, fairly easy to identify. Gray, really long, like a standard receiver. And then this motor to ESC plug is very specific because it's red on one side, white on the other. So these are three things that will identify. Not only that, the sticker is a dead giveaway. I mean, it says literally only two in one ESC RX. So that's a dead giveaway. Now the V2 model has a uh, receiver plus ESC two in one and a cat and the dead giveaway for the V2 and this is the only one that is uh, identified as such is the V2 on it. It has V2 here and then a little umbrella which indicates like water resistant kind of waterproof. Um, you obviously don't want to submerge it but you'll notice that the V2 is right there and the wires are both white, the box wires on the ESC to the motor are white, and the battery connector is like a mini Tamiya. So that's that tells you right there. But the V2 is the most important indicator because the V3 does not say this. The box is identical. The picture is a little bit different as far as this little cat goes. 
um, but this this whole sticker right here is almost the exact same thing but instead of a umbrella and a v2 the v3 shows three little water droplets and a trash can which means to dispose of it properly but it's almost identical it's got the same servo port it's located in the same spot it's in the same shape the wires are identical same to me a plug the whole thing it's very difficult to identify the difference between the two if you don't specifically look for this little v2 so keep that in mind now for the binding process for the v2 esc 2 in one for red cats volcano 18. Now, as I mentioned before, there's the V1, V2, and V3, and they all have different remotes. And the V2, the remote is the MT-202T, and the receiver 2-in-1 is the MT-202RE, respectively. And, interestingly enough, the V3 actually is part number mt 201 R E N 201 T, which is kind of funny because it has a one instead of a two, but at least the two indicates version two. So with that being said, hopefully that information helps, but the binding process is very simple. Most binding processes include a bind plug and plugging it into the receiver and turning on the car and then turning on the remote. Well, this ESC two in one has no binding spot has no port has no nothing to do it has no button nothing like that so it's kind of funny too because the remote itself has a button right here and a lot of people think you gotta hold the button turn the car on things like that it's, it's kind of weird it doesn't it's very simple the and, and the cool thing is is the v2 and v3 work very similarly even though you need this specific remote to match the v2 receiver so this is exactly how you do it so to bind the ESC 2-in-1 V2 to the transmitter, which disregard there's no labeling, it's still the same thing, all you need to do is simply have the transmitter off, the truck turned off and unplugged. Now all you're going to do is plug the truck in, turn the truck on and have the remote within about one foot of the truck. And then within a couple seconds, simply turn the transmitter on. You're gonna notice that this light's gonna go solid, the wheels are usually gonna straighten out, and you're gonna hear the servo. Now you'll know that your Volcano 18 is bound to the transmitter. That's easy. If you like what you saw here or this video might have helped you out, feel free to hit the like button and subscribe for more straight up RC content. If you have a question about an RC car or maybe a problem that you've been having with one of your RC cars, feel free to let me know. Leave a message, leave a comment. You can message me on Facebook, Instagram, or the YouTube channel, and I can try and see if I can help you out. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time.